Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one challenging question from factorial equations. The given equation is x is equal to x minus 3 factorial. x belongs to positive integer. So let's get started by considering x minus 3 will be non-negative integer. So greater than or equal to 0 or x should be greater than or equal to 3 condition on x. Let me write our equation x equal to and then I will be writing here x minus 3 factorial. Now I will multiply both sides by x minus 1 times x minus 2 as x cannot be 1 x cannot be 2. So x minus 1 times x minus 2. Now in RHS it is recursive formula. So we know that n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial or n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on. So in RHS we will use this recursive formula for factorial notation. Now left hand side I will write x minus 1 as it is. Then it is x times x minus 2. In RHS it is x minus 1 factorial. Now I will club these two. So I will be writing x minus 1 times x square minus 2x. RHS is x minus 1 factorial. Remember x cannot be equal to 1 and 2. Now I will use one manipulation step. I will write x minus 1, x square minus 2x plus 1 and then minus 1 equal to x minus 1 factorial. So by adding plus 1 and subtracting minus 1, we will get here one perfect square. This is x minus 1 whole square. So I can write x minus 1 times x minus 1 whole square minus 1 equal to x minus 1 factorial. Let's write x minus 1 times x minus 1 whole square minus 1 equal to x minus 1 factorial. Now I will consider substitution which is x minus 1 equal to n. So this is our substitution. Condition on x was x cannot be equal to 1, x cannot be equal to 2. So I can write n cannot be equal to 0, n cannot be equal to 1. Now I will write our equation as n times n square minus 1 equal to n factorial. Now let us apply the difference of two squares formula. And here we will use recursive formula. So I will be writing here n times n minus 1 n plus 1 equal to n times n minus 1 n minus 2 factorial. Now I can cancel n n minus 1 from both the sides as we have n not equal to 0 n not equal to 1. Now this equation is n plus 1 equal to n minus 2 factorial or I can write n minus 2 factorial equal to n plus 1. Now I will use another substitution n minus 2 factorial equal to n plus 1. 
Now I will consider n minus 2 equal to y. So let us consider n minus 2 equal to y. So I can write here y factorial in LHS. In RHS it is n plus 1. So from here I can write n equal to y plus 2. So n plus 1 will be y plus 3. So I can write y factorial equal to y plus 3. Now I will use recursive formula once again y times y minus 1 factorial this will become y plus 3. Now for y not equal to 0 y not equal to 0 means n not equal to 2 and n not equal to 2 means x cannot be equal to 3. So if you will check here 3 is not solution of this equation. 3 is equal to 0 factorial. No, it is not. 0 factorial is 1. So we can divide both sides by y. So let us divide both sides by y. This side also y. Now we can cancel these two. So it will become y minus 1 factorial equal to 1 plus 3 over y. Now I will apply few conditions here. Let me write here y minus 1 factorial equal to 1 plus 3 over y. y minus 1 factorial equal to 1 plus 3 over y. First point which I can write here, left hand side must be integer. So right hand side should be also integer. For 3 over y to be integer, y should be less than or equal to 3. First condition and second condition, y should be multiple of 3. Multiple of 3. And from left hand side, I can write y should be greater than or equal to 1. Now I will club or combine or take intersection of these conditions. First condition, second condition and third condition. So I can conclude from here I can write y should be equal to 1, 2, 3. If I will club this one and this one. Now y should be multiple of 3 also. So that means this value will be rejected. So only two values are there, y equal to 1 and 3, which we will check. So let us check. In LHS, I will apply y equal to 1 here. So I can write left hand side will be 1 minus 1, 0 factorial. Right hand side will be 1 plus 3. Is it true? 0 factorial is 1. Right hand side is 4. No, it is not. So y equal to 1 will be rejected. Now y equal to 3. Left hand side will be 2 factorial. Right hand side will be 1 plus 3 over 3. It is 1. So 2 factorial is 2 equal to 2. That means y equal to 3 is our true solution. Now let us find out the value of x. So y was our substitution. It was n minus 2 equal to y. So I will write here n minus 2 equal to 3. So n equal to 5. Now in terms of x, n was x minus 1. So I will write x minus 1 equal to 5. So x equal to 6. This is how we can conclude our final answer. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.